Can you sublimate nylon? Have you ever wondered if you can create vibrant, long-lasting designs on nylon fabric using sublimation printing? Let's dive into the details to find out. Sublimation printing is a process that involves converting solid dye particles into a gas, which then infuses into the fabric's fibers. For nylon, this process is a bit more complicated than for other materials, but it's definitely possible. First, you need to know that there are different types of nylon, such as nylon 6, nylon 6, nylon 7, and nylon 66. Each of these types reacts differently to the dyes. Nylon 6 and 7 are the most commonly used in textiles because they aid in color penetration and have higher durability and adaptability. To sublimate on nylon, you need to use lower temperatures compared to other fabrics. The ideal temperature range is between 165 degrees Celsius to 170 degrees Celsius for 80 to 90 seconds. However, some sources suggest that a temperature of at least 190 degrees Celsius, 375 degrees Fahrenheit might be necessary, but with careful adjustments to avoid overheating the fabric. Nylon fabrics often require pretreatment with additives to help with dye absorption. This is crucial because nylon can be heat sensitive and the dye can bleed or melt if exposed to too much heat. Using high density sublimation ink and tacky sublimation paper can also help achieve better results. When applying the sublimation process, it's important to ensure the material is preheated to remove any moisture. The pressure should be high enough to ensure complete contact between the material and the transfer paper, but not so high that it causes the material to distort. One thing to note is that the dye on nylon can oxidize in sunlight, which may cause fading over time. However, when done correctly, sublimation printing on nylon can produce vibrant, long-lasting designs that are resistant to fading, peeling, and cracking. So, to answer your question, yes, you can sublimate on nylon fabric, but it requires careful temperature and pressure adjustments, as well as the right techniques and materials. With a little practice and patience, you can achieve some amazing results.